Hello Kilbury Valley family. In today's video we will be looking at how we can communicate with parents on Seesaw. The things that we will be looking at in this video are where to find the messaging feature on Seesaw, the difference between sending an announcement and sending a message, and the different types of messages that you can send home. Okay, so when I go into Seesaw, I go over here to where it says inbox. There are three main parts in here. Student announcements, family announcements, and then the names of your connected parents. When you send a student announcement, it is a message that can be seen by all the teachers attached to your grade and it gets sent to all of the students. This is another potential way that you can send work home to the students. In family announcements, this can be seen by all the other teachers attached to your grade and it is a quick way to send a message home to all of the parents that you have connected. There are also private messages, which are messages that can only be seen between you and that particular parent. The other teachers attached to your grade cannot see these conversations. So if I select a parent, I can see the announcements that I've sent them. I can see that they have seen the announcements. And if I type here, I can type a message to the parent that only that parent will be able to see. I will be putting together a template of a message for you to send home to parents. Uh, ideally, you should do this when you have the majority of your parents connected. And in the message, I'm very clear about informing the parents that, yes, they can send a message through whenever they want, but do not expect a response from the teacher unless it is during school hours and there's a 24 hour assumed turnaround. It is also important to know that parents cannot initiate a conversation. So even if the parents are connected, they cannot make a conversation with you, send you any per private messages until you have sent the first welcome message to the grade. Now we will look at the different types of messages that you can send. The message options you have in private messages and announcements for both family and student are the same. I will click on the plus to open up our options. So up here you can choose who you send it to. Your first and simplest option is to type a message in here and then click on send now. Here you find you have six options. You can share a photograph with your students that will open up the camera on your laptop. So please be aware. Alternatively, if you have a photo that you would like to upload or any file for that matter, PDF video upload, and just drag and drop it in there. As you can see, you can upload up to 10 pictures, uh, one PDF or one video. You can upload a drawing. This is something that I could see as beneficial for the students because you could actually record yourself explaining a task. So maybe you could do a voice record and that would record what you're doing on the screen as well. So you could do like voice recording. And you could explain how we're going to do additions, making sure that we're putting them in the correct columns with carrying. Yeah, you could do something like that if you wanted to. If you wanted to, you could add a note, but that's essentially the same thing as typing a note as you would in the normal screen. So I wouldn't really worry about that one. You can send a video. Now remember, this is going to bring up your front facing camera. And if you wanted to, you could upload a video of you sharing a book with your class, something you could do, or another explanation video. So this is another way you can communicate with both parents and students, or you can provide them with a link. So this can go to any website that you want, or you could put a YouTube video up that you want the students to watch. It could be any, anything. This will link to any website that you'd like. After you've attached whatever it is that you want to attach, 
you can still make a comment here as well. Maybe describe the video you've attached or the link on what you want them to do with it. And then click on send now and it will send it to who you've chosen to send it to. Well, I hope this video has been helpful. I hope that you've been able to get something out of it. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to send myself or Kylie an email and we'll help you as best we can. Thank you.